morning guys, welcome to today's video. It is T minus four days until we have our Easter celebration. I'm so excited, I cannot wait. I feel like the grandkids have hardly been here in times where we could go outside and enjoy the farm, all of them together. So I'm really excited for them to see the baby goats and to, to meet the pig and to really get to experience farm life. So today is Tuesday and that means it is Bar, it is sales barn day. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna stay here. I'm gonna try and clean up some more of my stuff. I've been like super duper cleaning. This is like the big clean that I do before the summer because I don't do any deep cleaning in the summer. I just do surface kind of cleaning in the summer because we wanna spend all of our time outside once the summer arrives and we do. So Sam and Sophie are headed out to the sales barn and they're gonna take you guys with them. Um, but also Sophie found uh, <laughs> I'm just watching the pig. Sophie found a book that she's in love with. What book is it, Sophie? Um, I finally got Sophie to read on her phone. So much easier for us to buy love. books. What? Twisted Love. Twisted Love. Sophie's into like the romance. She likes the kind where it's like unrequited love and then they fall in love. Is that what you like? The ones where they hate each other and they're like, ew, I hate you. I used to like those too. Anyway, she's what, reading Twisted Love. It's a series. It has four books in the series. I never read that one. That's one that I did not ever read. So Sylvie's not a big reader. She's like her dad. So if you are out there looking for a series to read and you like unrequited love stories, then you might like Twisted Love too. If it can get Sophie hooked, it could get anybody hooked. Are you actually looking for anything at the sales barn today? Yeah, don't blame me if I come home with a bunch of chicks. We do not need a bunch of chicks. Sophie All has- my arms. Yeah, so, arms. Sophie has not, uh, figured out which chick chicken she's gonna sell yet, so eventually we'll have room, but not right now. I mean, I know most of them. Do you know what you're looking for? Polish, silkies, ducks, geese. We're not no getting ducks, ducks. no, no and, geese. And um, meat, chickens, and turkeys. We are at the sales barn and we're looking, we found a parking spot in between two trucks. <laughs> and it's busy and we thought we were gonna have lots of stuff here, but it doesn't look like the chicken guy's here, but we're gonna check it out, see what else they have. One little baby cow, that's it. That's all they have in here today. One baby cow, Sophie. Wow, you're big. Hopefully our pig doesn't get that big. We're we're not early. And there's nothing here. They got goats today. They got goats. They got lots of goats. Oh, there's a baby in there. There's a little baby goat in there. You see him? He's right there. Look at this. Look at that thing right there. Hey, goaty goat. Hey. You guys are all cute. They stink. Hey, goats. Well, we don't need any more goats. That's for sure. So you're a nice color. You're a nice color. It looks like uh, one of ours. Tilly. Yeah, looks like Tilly. This one in the back corner too. It's a baby. There's a couple babies in here. A couple babies. There's a sheep with a baby. You see the baby sheep? What oh, baby? All right, so we ended up getting some chicks and bunnies, right? And here's the chicks and bunnies, a box of sour punch chicks and bun bunnies. I give them out to the grandkids and when they come over on the weekend. And we got meat. Our meat guy was here, but no chicken guy. Well, I need a haircut too, but no chicken guy today. So I was looking forward to getting a bunch of chicks today. But... Hopefully it's warmer tomorrow and I'll be able to clean out the other shed beside the chicken coop because that's going to be a new chicken coop and we're going to make that work really good. I still love my baby. I still love her so much. She makes me happy. All the chickens come in when they see us coming out to the coop because they think that I have treats for them and I do. And my little piggy is really going to be like a dog. She literally just comes wherever we go now. <laughs> Zoom! 
<laughs> it is grain buying day for our animals and I am switching everything up today. So at, <laughs> she just loves to run. At first I really worried about her running off and going onto the road, but she actually stays with us just like Ellie does. Ellie, come on, come on, Posey Pig, come on, come on. <laughs> it looks like somebody put their paw on her back and now she has dirt on her and her favorite place to go, Ellie, get out of the poop pile. It's the poop pile. They, all of our animals, really enjoy the poop pile but especially Posey. Come on away from the poop pile. Away, away, get away. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> She's like, come on, let's go, lunch is over. Come on Posey. Come on Posey, come on Posey. Come on. I throw these little Cheerios for her so she'll learn to follow me when I want her to, to come. And literally every dog that we have eats them. Oh my gosh, I need to come out here and clean this barn. It is such a mess. I swear, <laughs> Sam. Oh my gosh, my dog always poops in the barn. Doesn't matter what barn she goes in, she poops in it. It's like her way of saying I belong here. Anyways, Sam always gives way too much hay. And I keep telling him, don't give her so much hay because who's gonna clean this out? And it's always me. It's always me that has to sweep it all out after I clean it all out. But you know what he tells me? He says, Laura, <laughs> I have to give Penny as much hay as she wants because if I don't and she runs out of hay, uh-oh. <laughs> that was adorable. Good job, Posey, run from the horses. Anyway, he tells me that if he doesn't give Penny as much hay as she wants so that she doesn't run out, that she charges the fence in the night, that she pushes into the fence. But how do you know? The fence is empty. Oh, <laughs> he says that she comes over to this section where she can see the hay and she pushes it to try and get to the hay. Yes. So he's like, so he's forced to give in to her hands. All I know is that our, our, our hearts are full with animals right now. And every time Sophie goes to the sales barn and there's not any chickens there, cause that's what she wants. She wants like very specific chickens. Every time there aren't any there, I always know that God has a plan and that when that happens, when that kind of thing happens, it's because we're just not meant to have one right now. Like, he literally has a plan for everything. And uh, if you stop and look at your life from the perspective that God has a plan and everything that's meant to find you will find you in the exact right time, it takes off so much stress and makes you feel so much more, makes you feel so much more relaxed and so much calm, more calm about life. I can't brush it today, the wind. She's eating Penny's hay. <laughs> I'm gonna sweep everything up. Her and Gracie come in every day. And Dad yeah. always gives some more hay. Yeah. Anyways, I wanna do like this video idea of honey through the years. So she's two. Is she just two? Oh look, Posey's eating her hay too. <laughs> what time is it? Oh my gosh, every time Sophie brings this horse in, she wants to chop her. Look, her bridle path is so long. All right, just the bridle path and that's yeah, it. Yeah. Her tail's down too long. Anyway, uh, Honey is two years old now and uh, upstanding citizen <laughs> in our herd. Sophie wants to breed her. She wants to breed minis. Sophie's heart is like in riding and in minis. Sophie's like me, she loves animals and it's just, she's always gonna have like, this desire to take care of animals. We're both caregivers. Ellie, get out of that stall. Now, oh my gosh. Anyway, I want to do this video of. And you can't even stop me because it's my pony. And of. Back hey, who paid for this pony? You gifted it to me, so it's mine. I know. I believe in that too. But, anyways, um, I want to do a video, like I've been trying to say, of Honey through the years. And she's only been alive for two years now. And the changes in her are like so incredible. I feel like that's still too long. No, I feel like that's way short enough. 
No. I feel like every month we make a video where Please. Sophie cuts the. Beef like a little bit shorter. Oh my gosh. I have short tails now. I used to hate them, but on minis I love them. All right. Well. Uh oh, I've lost my pig, and I'm gonna fill this up with. Hey, I'm gonna rake everything up. Come here, piggy, 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 piggy. Come here, posy. I gotta sweep this room too. Come on. Come on, posy. Come on. Right here. Can you get it? <laughs> She's not as good as Ellie. She doesn't understand. Does your no there you go. <laughs> Come on, stay in here. I really like her though. I think that she's in such. I love her confirmation. And I'm really excited for spring when we take everybody's blankets off and do so much more horse stuff. There was a time when I was lonely. Trying hard to get by, taking day by day. But baby, then you came along. I know I never felt that strong. Nothing's gonna hold us down. Yeah, we are taking up. So, this is gonna be the theme of this spring. It's gonna be getting rid of old hay. Because, huh, Posey Peak? All right, so help me find a blanket for for Penny. I do. Like, what about this rain sheet? I think that'd be perfect for her. Fun fact, I don't like rain sheets unless it's warm. And when it's warm, and when it's warm, I feel like they don't really need rain sheets. So I feel like rain sheets are dumb. Insulated rain sheets, however, I feel are definitely a lot better because they are warm and they protect them from like the colder rain. So can you get that off for me, please? I have like a bunch of other blankets. All right, well, let's take it off. I'm gonna try and put this on Penny. So I saw a comment, I know, but my back is so sore again today. It's insane. Do you want me to hold that for you? No. So, so, um, someone said to me that our horses are going to get lice if oh, we don't, get lice? yeah, if we don't wash our blankets. Really? Yeah. Fun fact, none of our horses have ever had lice. I think it involves a lot more than just like blankets that aren't washed on the outside. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> that was adorable. She's our vacuum cleaner. Are your horse up here? All right. Come here, Pen. Come here, Penny. I'm gonna change your blanket. Come on. Come on. Guess what? Target. It's like a, it's like a, <laughs> such, <laughs> it's okay, it's just a pig, it's okay, it's okay, get the mud in your hair. Oh <laughs> my gosh, Penny, hold on, Penny, listen, there's a noisy old pig about to pass by, but you're fine with me, here, oh, I don't have any more treats. 
Good girl. It's okay. It's fine. It's a pig. Good girl. Yeah. Storm's like, I need some treats. I just didn't want her to go running. I'm sorry, Pen. I wish I could save you. Soon, we're trying to get a boy. She's like, oh God, not another one. <laughs> we're trying to get a boy and he's gonna keep Storm company. So she can finally have peace. Oh my gosh. She has cuts everywhere. so funny about Penny about horses so one I see love in her eyes and I see recognition in her eyes and I see acceptance in her eyes she knows what kind of person I am and she knows who I am and that's like so powerful but also Penny is so sensitive to emotion and to feelings which makes it so sad to me that she doesn't get along with Storm because I know that she suffers more than another horse that might not get along with Storm because it, it, she's so emotional, it bothers her. She's like me. She'll give me a kiss in a minute, hopefully. Kiss. I've trained her that if she wants to treat, she has to kiss me. And so now she just kisses me. <laughs> That's how she has for a treat. Something that is so super powerful to me is like, oh look at she has a, a cut in the shape of a heart, a perfect shape of a heart. Isn't that beautiful? Even in abuse, <laughs> there's all hearts. Look at her. That just makes me so sad. Like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then over on this side, this must be her more dominant side. There's one, I saw one. And they're not just pieces of hair missing, they're actual cuts and scabs. So the thing that I, I, the story that I wanted to tell you guys again is that, whoops, ow, is that my sister came over, my sister Jackie, she's five years older than me, and she doesn't, she has dogs and she's an animal lover too, and she's like an older woman, and Penny, I swear, relates to older women. And she walked in here, and she walked up to Penny, and I was holding Penny, and Penny looked at her and cuddled oh. into her. Like I could see Penny recognize in my sister a spirit so gentle and so kind that she felt instantly drawn to her. And that is like so powerful, like so powerful when an animal, especially a sensitive animal like Penny, can sense the kind of person that you are and your intentions and, and how you treat them. Like it's just shocking to me. Like, Penny loves me, she loves my sister, <laughs> wait, and she loves Sophie, that's it. And Sam honestly has the best intentions and is the kindest person and she hates him, but I don't think that that's his fault. I think it's because he's a man and she's had bad experiences with men. But animals know, you guys, when we're sitting down in the goat, uh, when we're sitting down in the goat barn and all those babies are jumping on us and biting our hair and little Blossom is coming up to us and pushing us and, it's just chaos. It's because they feel safe and they feel loved. And they, nine months they've been here, those older does, and they all know that we're safe and they all believe in us and they all trust us as their owners. And that's such a powerful feeling. Like, it is so powerful to have animals that understand and know you because they feel on such a profound level. Like, I don't know, maybe I'm just super emotional today. <laughs> I don't know. I swear I'm more emotional now that I'm older. <laughs> she just 
ripped out a chunk full of fur. <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna try this blanket on her and see what happens. See if we can get a little bit more protection for her. But I know a lot of you guys that have animals and have that connection with your animals and see that and feel that connection with your animals, you guys know what I'm talking about. It is so super windy in here. She's freaking herself out. Ellie, get in here. Come on. Come on, you silly dog. I don't like Ellie out there by herself. All right. I have Break, sister. Right. You listen to me. You listen to her. <laughs> I don't know where the pig is. She's in the bathroom. But I have a feeling that that is a blanket that doesn't belong to Penny. Does. Who does it belong to? Stolen. Yeah, if Gabby comes home and sees her in that, and it's Gabby's, <laughs> it might not go well for me. <laughs> or for Penny. She can't find me. I'm over here. Come on. Come on, Pussy. Come on. Come on, Piggy, 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 Piggy. Come on. Oh my gosh. Her nose is so dirty. <laughs> Come on. Okay, so any of you guys that don't have pigs, tell the truth. Did you ever think that a pig would be so much like having a puppy? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> she follows us, she stays with us. <laughs> she, <laughs> she runs around like a crazy pig. <laughs> Come on, Posey. Come on. <laughs> Just for fun. <laughs> she knows where the house is. Yesterday I raked up all this because this is where the pig poops and this is where the dogs do a lot of their pooping. <laughs> oh my gosh. Come on. Come on, Posey. Uh-oh. Come on. Come on. Oh my gosh. Come on, you can do it. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Come on. Come on, Posey, Posey, Posey. Good girl. Oh, Ellie. Come on. You can do it. Come on, Pussy. Come on. Come on, Piggy, 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 Piggy. Good girl. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way.